Hey everyone, welcome back to yet another episode of Crypto Unfiltered. अब हमारी और आपकी बातचीत जो है कुछ हफ्तों तक तो होती ही रही है सो आई एम श्योर दैट यू आर गेटिंग द हैंग ऑफ द क्रिप्टो ज्ञान दैट वी आर गिविंग टू यू और ऑब्जेक्टिव हेयर इज टू मेक ऑल ऑफ दिस एज सिंपल इज फॉर यू टू अंडरस्टैंड सो दैट यू कैन फिगर आउट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन बिटकॉइन एंड ब्लॉक चेन लर्न वॉट डिजिटल मनी इज एंड लर्न हाउ यू कैन मेक अ लिटल मनी टू अलॉन्ग द वे Crypto investing has become a big craze after the huge bull market in crypto that took place earlier this year. The big cryptocurrencies nearly doubled in value and while they've dropped back, they're still mostly higher than 2021. अब ज्यादातर लोगों को लगता है कि क्रिप्टो मतलब बिटकॉइन इथेरियम या फिर इन कॉइन्स के ही ये इर्द गिर्द चलता है नॉट रियली यू सी क्रिप्टो करेंसी हैज ऑल्सो ओपन अप अ न्यू काइंड ऑफ आर्ट इन्वेस्टमेंट एंड इट्स कॉल्ड एन एफ टी एन एफ टीज और नॉन फंजेबल टोकन आर यूनिक वर्क ऑफ आर्ट ऑथेंटिकेटेड ऑन द ब्लॉक चेन सो दैट यू कैन टेल द ओरिजिनल अपार्ट फ्रॉम अ कॉपी एंड टू द कलेक्टर्स दीज ओरिजिनल होल्ड अ हायर वैल्यू दैन द कॉपीज This is just like art in the real world where you can have many prints of a Salvatore Mundi by Leonardo da Vinci you can even see it for free on the internet but the real thing costs around 450 million dollars matlab agar aap ek Cyrus ke 36 copy bana de original Cyrus mein jo baat hai wo aapko baakiyon mein nahi milegi so let's learn more about nfts today among other things crypto So in the earlier episodes we talked about what a cryptocurrency is this time we'll simplify nfts the meaning is pretty clear for the name non fungible token that means that you cannot replace one token or address on the blockchain for another currency is meant to be fungible matlab ek hi type ke hazaron copies Now one 100 rupee note is same value as another 100 rupee note but if you look at them they all have unique serial numbers similarly cryptocurrency has unique addresses but one bitcoin is one bitcoin this one bitcoin is not more valuable than any other bitcoin NFTs are a little different because each token is used to refer to different things so you can make an NFT out of an image or a song or anything digital basically and sign it with on the blockchain ledger to mark it as unique uh you can even call it a type of a unique digital signature you can copy a file as many times as you like but it won't have the same signature it won't be the same as the original And as it turns out people in India are also getting into NFTs. We reached out to a well-known cartoonist Vimal Chandran who has put up a lot of his work on Instagram and made NFTs for some of them. Here's what he had to say. I can currently uh, sell my artwork, my digital artwork by uploading them to the blockchain. This process is called minting. Uh minting will act actually authenticate my artwork or tokenize my artwork so there are different marketplaces currently available uh, which are providing this particular service and they are using various blockchains so whenever you interact with this blockchain uh, you have to pay a gas fee this gas fee varies depends on the congestion in the network so once you upload my artwork or mint the artwork this token this will tokenize the artwork and this particular token will be available in my crypto wallet uh, and somebody comes and buy the artwork through the platform this token will be transferred from my wallet to their wallet so the entire process is uh, extremely transparent and uh, seamless in the case of digital artwork it was kind of a uh, uh, difficult to sell a digital work 
because of the issue with the authenticity the only way to authenticate a digital artwork by converting them to analog by taking a print and and sign the uh, print which provide a, a kind of authenticity to the art piece but after this nfts uh, this made entirely simple by putting them into the blockchain uh, it automatically uh, authenticate the art piece i will be uh, staying with nfts because uh, you know this is super exciting you know to a part of a uh, big uh, technological revolution and i really want to get into that he is not alone either 32 year old delhi based digital art creator amrit pal singh made his first nft in february based on the face of artist frida kahlo and sold it for around 3.9 ethereum that's around 6.63 lakh See that's what an NFT is and you can make an NFT out of just everything. I'm thinking of making an NFT of my own masterpiece as well. I mean it's not the most beautiful but still it's art. To make an NFT all you need is a digital file to upload and then you can use a third party tool like MetaMask or OpenSea to convert it into an NFT. I know thoda easy sound kar raha hai but it's a bit complicated as you will need some ether to pay gas fee but that's about it there are thousands of creators out there diving into nfts to sell their work but wait unfortunately just like real art someone has to want to buy it so now i come to the most important question of this segment any takers for this but how really big is the nft market well simply put it's huge i keep saying just like real art but that's not actually a useful thing this is real art just in a new medium and just as you expect there are a lot of people who have their galleries of unsold art on instagram but then there are the superstar artists and they are selling their art for millions Expectedly you've got some old school artists like Damien Hirst getting in on the act but you also have all you stars who have been successfully building a digital fan base and are now millionaires from crypto like this person people who sold his collection every days in an auction for 69 million dollars that's over 500 crore rupees CryptoPunks helped kick off the NFT mania and their artwork has sold for many million dollars as well. That's a basic primer to the amazing world of NFTs and how you can get started too. So make something and send it to me. I'm curious what people are creating these days. You know, just out of curiosity, do send it. So that's what we know about NFTs and now it's time for Market Watch our weekly look at how the crypto market is doing. This week we're speaking to another expert who's going to take us through what's been happening in the world of crypto this week. For about the entire first week of August things were on the up and up and it looked like Bitcoin had broken out of a rut. But then things started to change in the opposite direction again. So what's caused this and what can we expect? Let's find out. August has been another roller coaster month for Bitcoin. It started the month at $41,000, fell to $38,000 and then zoomed all the way to $48,000. Now on the bullish side, two very large global banks, Wells Fargo and JP Morgan have registered Bitcoin funds with the Securities and Exchange Commission. On another side, El Salvador, the world's first country to make Bitcoin as its legal tender, has bought 200 Bitcoin ATMs. These will enable citizens to convert Bitcoin to US dollars and even withdraw it as cash for zero commission. We are seeing sustained institutional interest as well as use case uptake in Bitcoin, and I believe we could see an all-time high in 2021. So far we have seen the US legal drama which has been causing some uncertainty about the future of Bitcoin. Alongside that we have seen some ups and downs for other tokens too. But leaving Bitcoin aside for a moment the market is 
actually looking fairly stable. Digital currencies are also having a bit of a moment in the sun with Samsung, for example, testing mobile phone functionality for South Korea's CBDC, while India is also exploring the digital rupee and China has similar work underway despite its hard stance on cryptocurrency. At the same time, we also saw a major crypto hack recently and that's obviously big. Although again, the impact of these things should be taken in perspective with a bit of a long-term view. If you're looking at the long-term trends, things are still looking good right now. That's a broad overview of what the market and the experts are telling us. But let's break this down further in our next segment. Ultimately, you've got to look at the day-to-day -to, -day to make the right decisions on when to hold them and when to fold them. Unless you're planning to hold to the moon, daily changes and trends are important too. Among the top tokens right now, Bitcoin has dropped 2.94% and Ethereum is down by 3.38% while Tether is up by 0.60% in the last 24 hours. Even Cardano is down by 6.78%. Last week, I told you that you can get sandwiches and burgers for your crypto. Well, now AMC is saying that by the end of this year, you can buy movie tickets across all of its theaters using Bitcoin. You also had the biggest crypto hack in the recent times and then the funds were returned too. This hack ka objective was that hackers wanted to tell that crypto is no exception when it comes to online security. On that note, let's remember the core tenets. Be secure, don't put all your eggs in one basket, do your research before you start trading. That's it for this episode of Crypto Unfiltered this week. Tell us what you want to know and we'll feature your questions in our future episodes. If you've got questions for experts or if there's any jargon that you want us to explain, you know what to do. Leave a comment below or send a message on our Facebook or our Twitter and we'll get those answered for you. This is Cyrus signing off with a promise that I'll be back next week with more crypto, more gyan. See you soon.